costume at Mercy Party Store for all your Halloween needs. Stay tuned for Prince mm. Hopper. And Look at the time. Got to fly. Right Radio show's on in 15. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Nice try, Fatima, but you can't silence the voice of the people that easily. <laughs> I disagree. Shut up. See? Well, fine, but I think it's worth pointing out <gasps> that I'm the only one being nice here. Fatima? Fatima? I am fine. <clears throat> Fatima! You did a number on your knee there. What? You are a doctor now? I happen to interview medical people on my show from time to time. Here, let me give you a hand. A man cannot touch me. Well, aren't you the sexist? Someone call Rayanne. She's a doctor. Oh, here, let me. Oh, Fatima. That came as soon as I heard. Oh, you're bleeding. No. Actually, that blood's mine. Looks like a nasty sprain. You don't have to dumb it down for me. I came for your medical opinion. You vitiated your anterior cruciate ligament. Oh, no. What does that mean? Looks like a nasty sprain. Our physiotherapist comes in on Tuesday afternoons. Who's going to cook for my customers? You? Not unless you have really good insurance. Uh, how about swimming? The aquafit class meets at the pool. The public pool? <laughs> no, Mopayo. Swimming? I will not do it. I told you I was not comfortable with this. Oh, stop fussing. This is going to be fun. Where's the teacher? She's late. What is that man doing here? OK, ladies, welcome hey. to Aquafit. Excuse me. Hi. Can you tell us when the women's class starts? As soon as I decide if we're going to go techno or salsa. What do you think, sister? I am not your sister. There's been a mistake. We can't take this class. Oh, what's the matter? Never met a friend of Dorothy before? No. Friend of Dorothy? He means he's gay. Look, you don't understand. We're Muslims. Men can't see us in our bathing suits. They're, they're too revealing. <laughs> Not revealing anything I'm interested in, OK? Uh, the pool is broken. Let's go. It's the pump. Needs a good hard scrub, but don't we all? So, ladies, are you in or are you out? Sorry, this isn't going to work for us. That's what I had to tell Becky Swanson at the prom. Uh, who is Dorothy? You know, the gays. They love Judy Garland. Who's Judy Garland? Hey, it's complicated. This is all too much for us. I just want to sell the cafe and live in a cave. Have you priced caves lately? No. You have a right to swim. But you just heard, it's impossible. Don't worry. When your mom works for the mayor, nothing is impossible. Impossible. It's not happening. Oh, come on, Anne. Is my daughter's request so outrageous? Can't the pool afford to hire one female lifeguard? It's not money. It's optics. Kowtowing to the Muslim community after that disastrous open house. A small explosion in the mosque. What's the big deal? OK, when you say it out loud, lots of non-Muslim women prefer women's only swims, too. Yeah, what are you saying? Can we look into it? We can't afford it. I'm sorry, Rayanne. You just said it wasn't about the money. What are you, a reporter? Fine. You get me 150 signatures on a petition, I'll bring it up at the budget meeting next week. OK, 150 signatures. Do they all have to be different? <laughs> Funny. She must get that from you. Go. Her worship has spoken. Her worship has spoken? Yeah. I, I like that. <sighs> you know, I'm going to be Captain Jack Sparrow while I'm filling up my treasure chest. And you're going to be at home praying for candy. Jamal, stop teasing. You know she's not allowed to go trick or treat here. OK, don't worry, Layla. I'll bring candy at school so you can look at it. It's so unfair. Can't you talk to my dad? I can't talk to Baba. It's not my business. You know, my dad says the only bad Muslims let their kids go out and trick or treat. Now it's my business. Maybe I will talk to him. Good. I thought it was none of your business. Mind your own business. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
I thought you might need some help with your Friday sermon. You did see the do not disturb sign on my door. Ah, yes, don't worry. I won't let anyone disturb you. Barber, I need time in my day for spiritual reflection. Will the devil care about your do not disturb sign when he comes knocking? Okay, I'll bite. Why would the devil come knocking? To get some candy. Ah, Halloween? It is pagan witchcraft. When I was a mom, my anti-Halloween sermon, <laughs> it was the highlight of the year. I'm sure it was for you. Fine. If you leave, I'll contemplate mentioning Halloween in my sermon. What are you contemplating? Are you leaving? We've been through the budget twice. There's no money for this. No, keep looking, keep looking. You know, as a Muslim woman, this is a crucial issue. Let's look in the discretionary again. All right, okay, here we go. Here's something. The mayor's conference. The Beijing trip? Well, you can't give up going to China. It would kill you. You are so sweet, but not me. You. <laughs> See that 10 grand beside your name? There's your lifeguard. But well, I, ha I have to go. Chow dam kai. That, that means scrambled eggs, please, in Mandarin. Ooh, write that down for me. But, but... Good work, Sarah. And if your kid comes through with the petition, the Muslims will have their girl lifeguard. Oh, that's wonderful. That's the best news I've had all year. What was that noise? The sound of a dream dying. <coughs> so here's a petition. All you have to do is get people to sign it. How will I do that? Either they sign or no food. Ah, like an election in the old country. Exactly. Perhaps we are causing too much trouble. Well, sometimes in order to change the world, you have to cause a little trouble. I just have to swim for my knee. It's not about your knee. It's about the knees of the entire Muslim world. Is this really necessary? Yes. Doctor's orders. 